So before we end uh, this week's lectures, let me do a problem, which I probably should have done before, but it's going to be, uh, uh, this problem is going to be our starting point for what we are going to do right in the next week. So uh, consider a vector function. So f is a vector function of uh, x, where x is an n-dimensional vector and f is a set of uh, n functions so these are this is the complete set of functions f1 to fn of variables x1 to xn uh, all equal to 0 so we want to do find the directional derivative of this vector function so we want to find uh, directional derivative with respect to x of f in the direction in in the direction of let's say a vector u so this will be defined as in the according to the definition that we have given as f uh, x plus epsilon u. So, uh, so this is how it will be defined as and let us call this quantity as uh, let's say z. So, uh, and, and, and let us do it for, for one of them. So, let us write d d epsilon of epsilon equal to 0 of let's say f i uh, z1 to zn d. So, uh, to calculate this, what we can do is we can first do db epsilon of uh, del, we can use the chain rule. So, we can use del f del zk del zk del epsilon or dzk d epsilon. So, that's the chain rule that we have used to calculate db epsilon and um, there are uh, this k goes from 1 to n that we have to remember there are n of them so uh, <coughs> so del uh, so zk is xk plus epsilon uh, uk which means dzk d epsilon is is simply equal to uk so this will become uh, this quantity will become uh, del f del zk uh, d, uh, uk for epsilon equal to 0 and when epsilon equal to 0 uh, del del x del zk is equal to del xk so this is what it will become now this can be written down so this is fi del fi so this can be written down for say f equal to f equal to 1 so for f equal to 1, this would be del f1, uh, del x1, u1 plus del f2, del x2, u2 plus del f, uh, sorry, del f1, del x2, u2 up to del f1, del x, n, u, n. And uh, that can be written as k times u where k is called the tangent matrix, uh, where the first row of q, uh, k is del f1, del x1, that's here, del f1, del x2 to del f1, del x n. Similarly, for i equal to 2, you have this row, and for i equal to n, you have this row. So this is n cross 1, n cross n matrix, and this is uh, uh, n cross 1 uh, vector, which when multiplied, give you the directional derivative of this entire set of set of uh, possibly nonlinear equations.